Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here. This is the DNN tip of the week, and today I'll be talking about HTTPS, SSL. Yes, but a, an annoying problem that I have faced that I would assume that some of you have faced that before, which is you install SSL in your DNN site, you configured all pages, and some pages you don't get the padlock. You get that you have mixed content. So this video is about that, is about to explain how you can address that by yourself. But I also have a question for you about DNN. If you have a second, check out the link below or in the video description. Before I talk to you about the DNN tip of the week, I would like to talk about a new support plan that we have just launched on DeskPol. At DeskPol, we help you with your DNN website, we help you to maintain, to fix bugs, to add content, we help you to upgrade, we help you to do a bunch of things on your DNN website. DeskPol 1 is a plan, a new plan geared towards the person who needs help with DNN. Whether you have one DNN site, two DNN sites, 10 DNN sites, a thousand DNN sites, it doesn't matter. Because now we are supporting you, the individual, the person, not the site. Of course, we'll help you to fix your site, but we are helping you. If you want more information about what the plan covers, what it doesn't cover, all the details, you can go to deskpal.1. If you want to reach out to me personally, so you can book a time, you can book an appointment, and you can ask me questions, you can ask me anything, maybe about DeskPol, maybe about DeskPol1. Just send me an email to the address below and we can talk. That's it, enjoy the tip of the week. So here is a very typical example of this problem. You have your site set up with SSL, you activated SSL on all pages on your site, some pages like this one, like our homepage, is okay, the padlock is showing. However, some other pages, the padlock may not be showing. In case like this, what this means is that the SSL certificate is installed correctly on the server, on the site, because some pages you get the lock. However, there is some mixed content on certain pages. Before I address the mixed content, in case your site is not getting the padlock on any page, you may want to check with the site called Why No Padlock. You can enter your site URL and it will assess what might be the problems on your site, why it doesn't have a padlock. But again, only you only need to do this if you don't get padlocks on any of your pages. However, in our case, we get on the home page, but not in the about page. And I did this on purpose because I wanted to show how the mixed content triggers this problem, the padlock error, the padlock not showing up on a DNN website. So the problem is one and only one. There are references in this page to resources like images, JavaScript files, CSS files that are using a URL that is not HTTPS. And now we have to figure out how to identify and how to fix them. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to switch here browsers. And first of all, I want to recommend that you try this using Google Chrome. And by using Google Chrome, you add this plugin called HTTPS Mixed Content Locator. This is very useful to help you locating where are the mixed content that we need to fix. So I have done that, I have installed and this is the plugin. What happens when you load a page that does not have the padlock? What will happen is that if you click on the button, first of all, it shows already the number of mixed content on this page. So you click there and it shows exactly what are the passive mixed content and the active mixed content on this page. Now, what is the difference between passive and active mixed content? Passive are things like images, videos, audio, are considered passive content, and it's flagged as passive mixed content. Active, on the other hand, are the JavaScript files, the CSS files, iframes as well, those are the active type of mixed content. And here, 
very easily, it shows already. This is an image that is getting the problem. There's an iframe, there's a link to a CSS, there is a script to this JavaScript file. And then what you can do here, very simple. You can copy the first one. You're gonna fix one by one. You can copy the first one. We can right click on the page, view source, and then we can locate that here. Okay, great. I have located that. Now what? Well, in our case, all our problems are located in content that were placed in this page. But in general, there are three different places that the mixed content might be located. It might be inside the page content, which is our case. It might be inside the theme, inside the skin, because there might be references to non-secure resources there. Or it might be inside a module source code that is in, in the page as well. So three locations, the content, the theme, or a module source code on this page. So you may ask, how can I determine which one is which, if it's in the content, in the theme, or in the, in the module? Well, in our case here, we located the URL. And if we look around that, you're gonna see that this is a HTML module. Now, if you have a lot of content in the page, a lot of modules, this might be not that easy to determine, but what you can see here is that we can determine because we can see the HTML module close by to our URL. So we come back to the page and we start fixing. The image is this one here. And by the way, whenever it's an image, you can actually ask it to locate. Where is it? You see, it makes a, a cross pointing to this image. And I know that the problem is this image here. So what do I do? I go to the content and I'm on the basic text box here. I'm just gonna flip this to HTML so I can look at this a little bit better. And I can see the image tag right here. You see the image tag. And they, as you can see, the source of the image tag has HTTP, not HTTPS. So we can add an S here. And because the resource is inside our site, we should be fine because the site is already working well with HTTPS. Now, this resource might be outside of the site. It might be an image outside of the site. So you have to check if this image or resource will load properly once you put an S. Here's what we can do very, very easily. I can copy the URL. I can go to another tab. I can put HTTP there, it's working. And does it work with HTTPS? Let's see, it does work, it loads both ways. So we are fine here. So we fix this and we save, then it comes back. Now we are down one, we still have three with problems, three problems here. So we still have the iframe, the link and the script. So let's keep looking at those. So the next one, let's see the iframe. I'm gonna copy here the URL. And then as this one is related to iframe, I know that there is an iframe here, so I know where the problem is. But again, we can also determine from viewing the source and we see that it's inside a HTML module again. So I can go there to the iframe and I can have a look at its content. Now, here's the iframe. I'm gonna flip this to HTML, just my particular case here. And as you can see, it's HTTP. There's no S here. We can add S. We can, of course, verify if this loads properly on both, both cases without and with. We can check this on the browser, but let's just change it here. Let's save this. And now if you scroll down, we can even see the iframe now because active content like iframe, CSS and JavaScript, if it's not coming from a secure URL, it won't be loaded by the page. So now we are down to two errors. We can get the next one, which is a link to a CSS file. In this case, again, we can copy. Once again, we can locate there. Great, I can see it right here. There's no HTTPS. That's what, that's what the problem is. And I know that it's close to a HTML module. In our case here, just for the sake of this example, I have placed this script on this module settings of this module. So I have placed this on the header. And as you can see, it's missing the S right here. So can, I can put it there. 
And now we are left with just one error. The last one, which is a, a script. I'm gonna click there and I can locate again. And once again, it's close to the HTML module. I know it's located on the link to a JavaScript file and I know it's in the module settings, so I can go there and I can fix it. And instead of HTTP, we put HTTPS and we save this. Now, as you can see, we got a closed padlock. That's great because we have fixed our page. Now, the challenge here really becomes to identify where is the mixed content located. If it's in the page, if it's in the theme, or if it's in a module within this page. Again, that might be a bit tricky, but this is a strategy. This is how you can detect and determine what are the mixed content errors that are stopping you, stopping your page from getting a full secure padlock if you are using HTTPS. That's it. Thank you very much and bye for now. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.